Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and as a part of our vlog number 55 I also wanted to kind of really dig into Behringer versus Focusrite USB audio mixers. Um, and the reason why we make pan tilt zoom cameras uh, for live streaming and almost always people are asking us well how do we get really good audio to go with those cameras and everything has to be very low latency, the cameras have to match the audio and we found that these are two really good options and I'm going to explain why how they're different. I have some audio recordings. First of all, the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD allows you to, it's $99. So it's really, really affordable and it can do 24 bit, 192 kilohertz, which is the best that you can get on the market. And it allows you to take up to four XLR microphones and convert them to USB, plug it into your live streaming laptop or computer, and you've pretty much got four microphones to play around with. Um, the microphone you're hearing me through right now is the DPA Define headset microphone. These are really great. Um, but uh, yeah, so and I'm using the Focusrite right now, which I prefer a little bit here. And I'm going to talk about why. I'm going to show the opening of the box videos. And then I'm going to show you, I'm gonna, we're going to do some side-by-side -side audio test footage so you can hear the difference as well. So first of all, let's open the UMC 404 HD. So it's a 4x4 audio mixer where it can take an XLR or quarter inch. It can also has a MIDI interface. Um, we talked about 24 bit, 96 kilohertz and 192 kilohertz. Um, compatible with pretty much anything that'll take USB. Um, you can do four inputs and four outputs plus the MIDI IO in ultra low latency to your computer. Um, it has phantom power, 48 volt phantom power, which I, I was using when I was using this product. Uh, there's analog inserts for external effects such as compressors. Um, it has powerful phone outputs and level control for monitor A and B. And there's a status signal and clip indicators uh, for the perfect overview. Um, other than that, you've got main outputs are balanced XLR and quarter inch TRS connectors. And they say it's built like a tank. Well, the build quality is not really at all um, as good as the Focusrite, but you can throw this in a laptop bag and bring it to your live show or whatever you're doing. It's not going to fall apart on you. Um, and it's got a three-year warranty. It's, it's engineered in Germany. It was actually a really, really good product. So let's take a look at the Scarlett uh, 18i8. This is the second generation. The first generation only came up to 96 kilohertz. Now the second generation can do up to um, can do up to 192 which is what I wanted and I'll explain why that's important for live streamers because of what we're doing and compressing audio comes with a short little USB 2.0 connector um, supports 44.1 kilohertz which was the standard for a long time for CD quality now most people use 96 and it can go all the way up to 192 um, the dynamic range is 109 DB weighted and um, the uh, noise um, ratio goes up to negative 127. So one of the things to think about when you're talking about high quality stuff here is that like Behringer doesn't even mention some of the tech specs that Scarlett with the Focusrite goes into. So you can, you know, you just know right there, why are they talking about dynamic range, signal to noise ratio, whereas an impedance, for example, which all of that is talked about in the Focusrite. So you know, you get what you pay for. This is three times as much. This is $350. This is $99. So let's listen to the test recordings and you can tell me what you think is better yourself. I turn the background noise off. Turn my mic off. This is an audio test. I am reading from a script. We are looking for the best USB audio mixer on the market. This is an audio test for the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. Hopefully we will find a great USB audio mixer for our live show every Friday on YouTube and Facebook. This was recorded in 192 kilobits per second. Okay, now I'm going to do the Scarlett Focusrite test. This is an audio test. I am reading from a script. We are looking for the best USB audio mixer on the market. This is an audio test for the Scarlett 18i8 Generation 2 USB audio mixer. Hopefully you will find this to be a great USB audio mixer for our live show, for whatever you're doing with it. 
This was recorded in 192 kilobits per second. Okay, so spec for spec, these guys are, are kind of the same here. Uh, if you look at Wikipedia and they talk about sampling rates, you know, CD quality is 44. Um, DVD audio is now usually about 96. And then 192 is becoming a standard for Blu-ray and high definition DVDs. And um, it's it's a this sampling frequency is four times the 48 kilohertz standard. So although humans they say humans can't hear above this. It, it, it helps with all of those anomalies and things that can happen when you compress data. So I don't know if anyone listens to a lot of MP3s, but you know you could you could do 128, you could do 192, and you know people who really talk about compressed audio say that uh, the 192 is better. So that is why I'm sticking with the Scarlet. I like it a lot. Um, the other bit nice thing is that it has two different 48 volt um, can, uh, phantom power selections. So if you have microphones that don't need phantom power, you don't need all four to be on. Um, oh, and then there's one last thing, which is um, the, where is it? Okay, yeah, right here. There is a, the Focusrite comes with a, um, software controller not the biggest deal in the world uh, but I like it because I don't have to get up to make changes if I'm just sitting here and I need to change my audio I can do so so just something small that it comes with it's not the biggest deal in the world but that's my review so I hope this video has been helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you find this type of stuff helpful we have live shows every Friday and uh, we, you can catch them at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. And then we've even got free live streaming courses below that you can check out to learn more about how to make your live streams great. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.